Alrighty folks, we're gonna take a look today at the hip hinge. We're gonna be doing a fast hip hinge. So you've already mastered the idea of the hip hinge, your ear, shoulder, and hips all being as one piece. That rib cage stays down. We take a breath in, we're gonna control ourselves all the way to that hinge position, so we're a nice straight line from there. When you're performing a fast hip hinge, you're still gotta maintain all those positions. One thing that I see people are struggling with is keeping these obliques turned on. So you're gonna to wanna to think about taking a breath in, bringing that rib cage down and poke here. They should be rock hard. Granted, if they are rock hard, you're ready to go. So these guys are rock hard. I'm gonna go fast body weight hip hinges. Back, back, forward, back, forward. My feet are glued into the floor. I'm pressing to the floor. My hips push back. My hips snap forward as I go each time. And I'm focusing on these, this shin angle being more or less vertical. You lift up my knee to my ankle. <laughs> They're staying pretty vertical there. I don't want to let my knees come way forward. I'm trying to focus on the hips doing all that work. So again, rib cage down, back is flat. Nothing through the hips. Keep that body straight line as you go back and forth. Try it out, let me know how it goes.